Hi, hello guys, and welcome back to another vlog. Today my allergies have hit me hard and my eyes are red and puffy, but you'll have to excuse that because today I have stuff that I need to do. Because today is the 31st of May, which means that tomorrow is the 1st of June, which means that tomorrow I go back to Norway. And that means that I need to pack. And not only do I need to pack to go back, I, that's right. I also need to pack so that when I come back here in July, I have packed most of my stuff that I need to pack for like moving. But firstly, I need to pack to get home. So I have quite an extensive to-do list today. I need to dust and hoover my room. I need to do all the dishes and I need to throw out some stuff before I leave. I also need to pack, obviously, as I said. Then Hega is coming by to pick up my key because she's moving some of her stuff into my flat to store it over the summer. That's happening. Yeah, and I need to wash my hair. So at the moment, it is about quarter past seven. I've been up for two hours now because I set my alarm for between 4.30 and 5.00 because tomorrow I'm waking up at 3.15 so I was like I need to wake up early to both condition myself into waking up early and so that I can go to bed early because tonight I'm going to bed straight up at 8.00 yeah yeah I'm going to bed at 8.00 because that means seven hours of sleep before my flights tomorrow and uh, I'm keen on that. So now I think first order of business, sorry, it's probably so gross, I'm just rubbing my eyes so badly, but oh, the allergies, the allergies have started. First order of business, take some allergy medication. Second order of business, make breakfast because I am starving. Then I was finished packed, like just about, but then me and Hague went shopping yesterday, so now I suddenly have more things to pack. Yeah. Let's start with making breakfast, shall we? Let's start with that. You guys should see my oatmeal at the moment. It is a literal disgrace how much milk I put in it. I vastly overestimated, and now it is not porridge, it is soup, but I like soup, so we'll be all right. As for food, tomorrow I think the plan is gonna be to have some toast in the morning and then an apple for breakfast, and then I'm gonna have three apples left over so I'm just gonna bring those with me. I was considering bringing like some like a sandwich or something but I don't think I can be asked to be honest so that means that I can get rid of most of my food tonight because I need to sort out kind of what I'm doing when it comes to like taking out the rubbish and stuff because tomorrow morning I won't have a key since Heya will have picked it up so I can't go in and out of the flat so I need to figure out what I'm gonna do about things <laughs> so that's that's fun I'm just gonna have my breakfast now and uh, talk to you in a bit so now that breakfast is consumed it is time to get started on the packing I will try to do some time lapses for you sorry if the angles are awkward AF but I've packed away my big tripod so I only have my tiny little one to balance on the table and stuff so we'll see how it goes I also sorted out the food situation for tomorrow so that's good and I have decided on what I'm traveling in tomorrow and you'll see that in tomorrow's vlog because I am vlogging tomorrow but I was planning on wearing my trench coat but I think it's gonna be quite warm so I might just be wearing my blazer instead just because that's still a bit of a jacket but it's smaller so it's easy to carry if I take it off and stuff so I've got to think of all the things yeah because it's supposed to be it's only supposed to be 10 degrees now when I leave hmm well I'll see I'll see tomorrow I make the final decision tomorrow when I look at the weather and stuff but it's not like I'm gonna be cold because I'm gonna push my giant suitcase down to town so yeah, but now let's get to packing because I have some stuff to do and I need to make sure that it's within the weight limits. So you are currently ba balanced on my little suitcase, so we'll see how this goes. This side is already packed, so that's all fine, like nothing in there is changing. This side, on the other hand, is a giant mess and I need to sort it out. So we are just gonna do what I always do, take all the messy bits out and then roll like our lives depend on it that's the plan stuff like my denim jacket and stuff i don't usually roll because it is so thick and so firm so i'm probably just gonna lay this flat on top but I'm gonna do that after I put everything in. Now I just need to figure out 
if there's anything more that is going into the suitcase. And the stuff that I used to take my makeup off with, but since we're not putting on any makeup today, we can pack that as well. So let's see how this best fits. Stuff I should have bought a Primark yesterday. Stuff that I forgot to buy a Primark yesterday. <laughs> like to pack my compact things down towards the bottom and then any kind of loose items towards the top just so that the um, compact items can kind of keep everything in place and since I'm a paranoid little shit I'll put this in a bag so that if it explodes it doesn't explode all over my clothes this bag has a lot of crumbs in it but that's okay I don't really care Turns out I did care a little bit because I did pull them out. Is that literally everything? Apart from if I am not wearing my coat tomorrow, I'm putting my coat in here as well. But now this is it. It's the heaviest shit. Now I need to try and weigh it because it is hella heavy and I don't want to pay overweight for it. So I'm gonna weigh it. Also, will I die trying to get this design tomorrow? Probably. 21 and a half kilos. My limit's 23, so I'm good. Oh my God. Lifting that and holding it in place and my inability to do so just shows that I really need to work out. Okay, so if you'll excuse the fact that my room is a bit of a mess because I'm packing, I thought I would give you a kind of updated room tour in a way, just a little like vloggy one, just for me to see how my room has changed and also for you guys to see how it's changed like before I start actually packing down like the core and stuff. So here we go. When you come in from the hallway, the window is obviously still straight ahead. My bed is still looking kind of the same with the tapestry and everything. I've accumulated this cute little collection of stuff here. This is just like a calendar thing that I got from Hannah. I won two awards this year, then I have a little fake planned candle. A Winchester sheep, which I think is the cutest thing, and then Tia made me these for Christmas, I think. Then I have some flowers that I need to throw out, both because they're dying and because I'm going home. Some little cacti, and then obviously my desk used to be kind of over here covering these boxes but instead I've moved it to the middle of the room and kind of folded it out and it's full round table glory so on here at the moment this isn't usually here but I've packed my tripod so that's where I'll put my camera when like I'm vlogging at my desk and then I just have this Primark bag with like stuff that usually would just like sit on the edge of my desk but I decided that it looked a lot cleaner if it just sits in this bag so then need to pack that because that's my luggage weight suitcase chillin then <laughs> my wardrobe at the moment is literally just stuff like that are packed already and lately i've just been hanging all my clothes on my clothes rail but at the moment these are just clothes that i'm not bringing to norway so then i did the same thing with a little primark bag for my hair stuff but at the moment there's also some hair stuff in like this makeup bag then my bookshelf is looking mostly the same and so is kind of this chair there used to be a lot of stuff like behind it and stuff but that's all in the wardrobe at the moment and then i'll just if i eat something in my room like I'll usually just leave it here until I take it to get washed up. So just have a little section there for like plates and stuff. 
and then these boxes just have stuff in them. So that's just a little look at kind of how my room looks. Now I'm gonna take down my tapestry and my fairy lights and I'm gonna pack those away. I think I'm gonna try to figure out how I can pack the stuff that's on top of my dresser, but since some of it is quite breakable, I think I'm gonna wait a little bit and I'm not gonna pack any kitchen stuff because I need to figure out if I'm doing that like in a duvet or whatever. And also I'm bringing my big suitcase back when I come back to like move stuff stuff in that so obviously I can't pack any of that. Probably gonna try to pack the clothes today and yeah we'll just we'll just see and I'm not picking up the keys until like quarter past two one of the days that we're here so it's about half an hour on the bus to go to where we need to pick them up so I'm probably just gonna be packing all of that day. Also I'm sorry but I'm so itchy I haven't shown you my sunburn but it's really bad and it's now gotten to the itchy stage so like my upper back is so itchy <laughs> but now I think I'm gonna try to do a little more packing and I might film it, might not, we'll see how it goes. So I got a little bit back, not a lot at all, but that's all right. I think I'm actually gonna leave it at that for now just because it is very difficult to pack stuff when I don't know exactly what I'm doing about it. So I think the summary is have is going to have to be that I'm going to do I'm going to do it when I come back in July. It is a holiday because I'm bringing my brother and like we are going to go see some sights and have some fun but I am also going back to move. I'm gonna have to do a bit of that as well. Packing is stressful especially when you're doing it over such a long period of time and you're not moving straight away and you don't really know what's going on. On the plus side I don't have that much left to do today and then also want to dust and hoover my room so that it's not already bad when I leave it and then I'm gonna come back a month later and it's gonna be even worse. So, so I think I'm going to do that in a bit. Since I woke up so early, it's only half nine, and <laughs> I don't know what the heck to do with the rest of my day, but Hega sent me uh, the name of the Skyrim Let's Play that she's been watching, so I'm probably just gonna do that for most of the rest of the day, but obviously I'm gonna try to get everything done, and then obviously I'm going to bed. Uh, quite early. In 40 minutes my June plan with me is going up. I hope you guys are enjoying that and if you haven't seen it I'm gonna link it up above. Um, that was a very vague gesture because I could never remember where the link is. My allergies are feeling a little bit better but I think a shower will help as well. Also my room is looking a bit less disastrous which is good for my stress levels onwards and upwards to doing things. So one of my flatmates left behind a loaf of bread and I was like oh great I can just have that today. Turns out that bread is mouldy so I do not have <laughs> the bread today and I also don't have bread then for my toast tomorrow morning. So I think I might just cook some pasta tonight and then save kind of a portion for tomorrow morning and just have a plain pasta for breakfast because I don't really have another option. <laughs> Great! Now I'm gonna have some apples and some whatever these are and watch some Skyrim. Okay, so I think what I've arrived at with the food situation is that tonight I'm just gonna make a frankly ridiculous portion of pasta and then I'm gonna have as much as I fancy of that tonight and then leftovers I'm gonna have for breakfast tomorrow and then if there's any more leftover after that I'll just bring it in like a little container or something for food while traveling, so. Good. I'm just watching Skyrim playthroughs and uh, having a great time, to be honest. I just finished doing the dishes. Our hot water hasn't been very cooperative today, so it took quite a bit longer than it should have. I'm gonna have a shower eventually as well. It's only half 12 though, so I'll have, you know, a long time to actually do that. We'll see how the day kind of pans out. So I'm all showered and fresh, as you can see, and I just finished checking in on my flights and getting my boarding passes, choosing my seats, all of that, because I like to do that in advance. 
so that I know what's going on. So for my first flight, I have an aisle seat, which I don't really like. I prefer the window seat. But then I had to be on row 21, and usually they only do exit from the front of the plane. And I have a connection for that flight, and I have extremely little time to actually get to my connection. So I was like, I need to get out of the plane as quickly as possible. So going for the aisle seat, and obviously quite far in front of the plane. So yeah, on my other flight though, I do have uh, a window seat because then I don't have a connection, so I don't care, like I don't mind being far in the back. I also finished up my packing and took some more stuff out because my mum was like, oh no, but you can just borrow mine like when you're home. And I was like, oh, stuff I don't have to carry is okay with me. That's good, things are looking quite good. I'm quite hungry again though, and I'm like, I don't have any food stomach, please. Oh, this is a bit of a situation. Hay is coming up eventually, because she's picking up my key, because she's moving her stuff in here. But that's gonna be another couple of hours, I think. But I think I might make pasta now. It's, it's four, that's all right. That's an all right time for dinner, right? And then I can have an apple like afterwards. I need to remember to make Hege take some rubbish out with her when she gets the key. But yeah, I haven't dusted and hoovered yet. I think I'm gonna do that in a sec. I'm just gonna let my hair be up in here for a bit longer, then take it down, then get on with some stuff. And then I'm probably gonna, just gonna have dinner and watch Skyrim, but I'll keep you updated. So it's about half seven now and Higg has just been picked up the key. Uh, she ended up staying for quite a while though, so I haven't been able to hoover and stuff, but to be honest, it's not that bad, so that'll be fine. But I've just packed my laptop and everything. I've packed my iPad, which was charging. So I've done everything that needed to be packed today. And then I just have my couple of things that I'm packing in the morning. But now I am literally just gonna brush my teeth and stuff. And then I'm going to head straight to bed so that I can be up bright and early tomorrow but i'm gonna end the vlog here and leave tomorrow as a separate travel vlog so i hope you have enjoyed this video and that you enjoy my vlogs in general if you do feel free to give it a thumbs up and to not miss out on the next one hit the subscribe button so they will pop right into your subscription box every time i upload and with that i will see you in the next video and uh, <laughs> hope i have a safe travels tomorrow and i'll see you soon